purpose of our lives? What is it? You know, what are we, what are we here to do? Are we supposed to just be happy and content and not worry about anything? Um, and, you know, get married and have children and, and conform to everything else? That, that conform to whatever everybody else does? What, what would be the point of that? You know, if everyone has it figured out, if for hundreds and thousands of years they've had all the, all the rules figured out and all the, uh, everything, everything figured out, why do you exist at all? Why would, why would you need to exist, you know? So, what is life? Life is a creative force. Whether it's your life or my life or whether it's an animal or whatever it is, uh, life is, is a force pushing forward, changing everything. It's a force to, to create something, to change something. And so, you know, when we align with this force, we become creative. And that's what I'm suggesting that is the purpose of life, is, is, is creativity. And I know this because whenever I'm creative, even doing a video like this on this beautiful day in, in, uh, in Slovakia um, at uh, Spiskivrad Castle near, near Prussia, um, I feel that this is kind of creative. I just got done filming some, some songs I wrote in the field. I'm sure you can see those here on, that, on the, my YouTube channel as well. Um, and that's when you're happy and healthy. And even having children is creative because those children are going to create their entire lives. And, and then their children, their grand, you know, so your grandchildren and, and so forth. So it's worthwhile to do something if it's a creative endeavor. Raising a child well, that's a very creative endeavor because you're going to make a healthy person to create wonderful, beautiful things in this world. Spending your time to create wonderful, beautiful things in this world is, there's no higher purpose. And it's all about aligning with love. If you're going to create from the ego, from the mind, from the ambition, from the desire to be famous, uh, for, for money, uh, you're going to, you, you might get some money. I mean, maybe. You might succeed. But you're not going to be happy, at least not for very long. Because the ego creates nothing of beauty. It creates, you know, if you're creating from a place of feeling bad, you're going to, cre you're going to miscreate. You're going to make things that are kind of ugly not, you know, standing the test of time. And if you're able to establish a spiritual practice, a meditation practice, um, if you understand how to align with love in the present moment, being aware of the present moment, to let go of all fear and ambition and attachment to outcome, and you just do something, you just create something, whether it's a business you're, you're doing, and just the day-to-day -day operation of the business is a practice of love. And that's what I do for my business. I do a sales agency. We do lead gen campaigns for companies. And the way I treat my customers and the way I treat this business and everyone I work with is as much as possible in a loving way, the same way I would treat my children. And when I do that, amazing creative things happen, amazing new, you know, new inventions or new, new innovations happen. Um, writing songs, I, I, for me, that's a practice of love also. If I'm in a good place, I have to feel good. Because I've, I've done things where I didn't feel good. And the, desire, the, the outcome was never what I, what I would, had hoped for. You cannot create anything beautiful from a place of feeling ugly inside. What, however you feel, whatever your state of being, that's what you're going to extend into the world. So if you're not feeling good, don't do anything. You know, do minimum. Just take care of what you have to. But don't try to do anything ambitious or do anything big. My God, not if you're, if you're not feeling great. If you're working on a, on a song, recording a song, if you're painting a picture, if you're starting a new business, if you're, you know, trying to, trying to you know, help your kids through something, just stop. Go lay down. Go take a nap if you don't feel good. You're probably just tired. You probably have a headache. Do meditation. And then when you feel good again, slowly, calmly resume. You get a lot more done in a state of, of calm and joy and effortlessness. You do it easily. You can run around all day like crazy and be really busy, but in the end you're doing nothing that's, that's going to stand the test of time, nothing that's going to change your life or help anyone or create any kind of beauty in the world. And that's the whole point of our existence. Thank you. I'll do a lot more of these, of these videos throughout this year and hopefully beyond that. Um, if you if you have like an Oculus, you know any kind of virtual reality viewer, it'd be a lot more enjoyable on that. If you're not watching it there, you can look around and everything. But anyway, I hope you I hope you get something out of these these talks. Thank you.